Today is day one of Valentine's Glam Week. Super, 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 super excited. I love glam. I love Valentine's. I love red. So it's just like, ah, so good. I did this series last year on my channel and it did so well. I decided to do it for Christmas, for Slay Mass, and it was amazing hit as well. So I had to do it again this year. I have a lot of looks ready to be served to you guys. It's gonna be amazing, major inspo. You will not have an excuse not to look glam for Valentine. Today I wanted to do the glam that you do for any occasion, anything that you're wearing for a Valentine's. This is like the essential Valentine's makeup starter pack, I feel like. This is like a go-to for me. I am gonna be playing a lot with color and stuff for those of you that wanna go above and beyond, but I feel this is the most date appropriate look for any occasion. So if you guys wanna see how I create this classic winged eye makeup with a bold red lip look for Valentine's, then please keep on watching. Today for eyeshadow, we're taking the new BH Cosmetics hanging in Hawaii eyeshadow palette. I would love to go to Hawaii one day. It's definitely on my bucket list. So feeling really super and super inspired. So many looks that you can create with this palette right here. First, I'm gonna go in with the color Shaka. I'm gonna be using this color right onto my crease. I'm gonna be taking this color with my Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush. Since this brush is so big and fluffy, I'm going to distribute that color very loosely onto my crease, back and forth, but mostly in the outer corner of my eye. With this palette blending brush, this is the Sigma Diffuse Crease E38. I'm gonna be taking the color Coconut, and I'm also gonna be applying that in the outer corner of my crease. So we're just pretty much just building up the colors right in the outer corner, making them darker as we go down, and then leaving the inner corner somewhat more brighter. Taking a Morphe JH37 brush, I'm gonna start dipping into the darker brown color. So I'm gonna go with the shade Mahalo. Oh my God, the names are so cute. It is a really pretty brown shade. And I'm also gonna be blending that in the outer corner of my eye. And going back with my E40 blending brush from Sigma, I'm gonna buff all the colors together. I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M506 brush. Taking the color Hana Lulu, it is a deep brown plum color has a little bit of purple in it. I'm gonna be smoking that in the lower lash line before I apply my eyeliner. I'm gonna apply this in the outer half of my eye and not bring it to the inner corner. Going back in with the E40, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the edges. I'm gonna go in with an Anastasia A4 brush and taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 eyeshadow palette, which can also be used as like highlighters. It's just a beautiful palette with a bunch of shimmery colors. I'm gonna be taking this color right here and I'm gonna be applying it into the inner part of my eyelid. I don't want it to be super precise, but I want this area to have a nice glow and shimmer. I think still more natural, but still somewhat glam. Really easy to do, just something to dust over the eyelid, give it a little bit of pop, but not too much. Now for eyeliner, I'm taking my Tardis Pro liner, and I'm gonna give myself a nice wing with this pen. For mascara today, I'm taking my Great Cosmetics Volumetric Mascara. Okay guys, for primer today, before I apply my foundation, I'm gonna be trying out the new Summer Fridays r, &R Mask. It's supposed to give you a really pretty glow, and also just make your skin look really, really healthy. You guys, look at it in my hand. It has like rose extracts in it that is pretty amazing i have not seen that ever and i'm gonna be applying this all over my face it also smells really amazing not like an old school rose scent like you know viejitas some, sometimes have like that little rosy scent but this is such a good modern scent that i absolutely love so i'm applying it to my skin it feels really silky and i feel like it's also super hydrating and moisturizing at the same time it also says to be left on for 10 minutes and then not rinse off you want the mask to stay on your face and give yourself that glow so you can just wipe it off and leave the rest onto your skin okay guys so the mask has been on for about 10 minutes now i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and as I'm wiping it off, I'm also feeling like I'm exfoliating my skin because of the rose extracts in it and the little beads that it has inside the mask. My skin does feel really glowy as you guys can see. All this air right here is just shining, looking so good. Also, my nose and my chin. Following up, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Drops, which also contains some rose extract in it. For foundation today, I'm going to go with the Vanish Seamless Finish Look at Foundation from Our. Glass. Today I'm going to be using the shade tan and I'm also going to be mixing the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Highlighting Drops because I like how it looks with my foundations. I am going to be using my Sigma 3 HD Max Kabuki brush just to blend everything out. This brush does such a good job in just like distributing 
all the products nice and even i also see it as like a big paintbrush but for your face and it covered so much in such a little time i really like this foundation but i feel like the color of it is like super yellow or maybe the ones that i guess in my way are just maybe like too dark for me i don't know but i feel like they're like super super yellow which is really uncommon with foundation so that's the only thing that i can say that i'm like iffy about the foundation but other than that the finish is wow i have a booger also can we acknowledge the fact that i didn't have to go in with a beauty blender to blend on my foundation it looks so seamless wow i don't know why i don't use this brush more often but it's doing pretty good okay guys for concealers i grabbed two concealers from elf cosmetics this is their new 16 hour camo concealer one is in the shade medium sand and then the darker one is medium beige and these two were right next to each other so that's why i am grabbing them both to have more of a skin tone one and then a brightening one and this tofu applicator it's so high-end and so trendy and amazing i really really love that about this concealer already i'm gonna be taking my ofra sponge that i really have been liking guys like really 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 have been loving this sponge i feel like it's just as good as the blue blender if not like a little better i don't know it has a lot of bounce in it and it's also really easy to clean but it gets dirty faster because it's like a teal color it's so pretty but if you keep cleaning it it's a really really good sponge so i'm happy that I'm trying out a new sponge as well, guys. And I also have a code with Offer Cosmetics. It is valid and you guys can save 25 to 30% off on your purchase. This concealer is looking so good. Wow, amazing. For a little bit of brightness, I'm gonna be taking the other concealer in the shade Medium Sand and I'm really applying this in the inner corners. It is super bright, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I just feel like it makes such a big difference when you have like a brighter concealer like in the inner corner it makes your eyes look a lot more bright and awake now i'm gonna be taking my Too faced peach perfect powder that i'm almost out of sad day in the valeria lauren beauties video i have not used this powder in a hot minute and i'm going through it y'all i miss it so much also i figured because you can see that's supposed to be matte might as well say it with a matte powder to give it the full effect i hope that's a good idea i hope it's not too much madness happening and then the concealer like cracks on me but so far i blended it really nicely the coverage was amazing and the doe applicator just gave it like a really high-end experience taking my sigma large angle contour f40 i'm gonna use this to bronze my cheeks I usually just like to go with this powder to give my face some definition. This contour shade just gives me all the right feels and then I lightly go over it with some bronzer to give it more of a bronzy glow. But I want to make sure that I am mostly contoured or chiseled first. Also guys, I've been using the Hula Mini for like a month now and I can't. I just hit pan on it like a couple weeks ago. But if you guys want to save some money, just get the Mini one and it'll last you so such a long time as well especially if it's your first time trying the hula bronzer get the mini one you're gonna love it and it's gonna last you forever taking a small taper blending e45 from sigma i'm gonna use this brush to contour my nose a little bit taking a morphe jh07 brush i'm going to dust away the remaining powder i'm gonna take some of that peach perfect and lightly chisel out my cheeks if i apply the other products i'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the ofra makeup fixer setting spray this is from their valentine's collection i'm sure they still have it so feel free to check it out it smells amazing I like roses it's also a very huge bottle that will last you a long time I don't know if you guys feel the same way that I do, but I feel like setting sprays are so expensive sometimes and there's such little bottles. So the fact that you're able to get something that's really big, almost like hairspray size, also with a discount code, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I wish there was more discount codes for like all the other like high-end brands, but that probably would be like, will never happen. For blush today, I'm trying out this palette that I have been dying to try out. This Colorina Makeup Studio Palette. It is a Puerto Rican makeup brand. My mom, when she went over there, she grabbed me a couple products that I haven't tried yet, but I am a sucker for like, blush palettes especially like bigger ones like this because i love blush so much and i love mix and match my blushes and also the fact that i have so many options and i palette just forget it i'm gonna buy it the other day i applied my blush with this ofra cosmetics brush it is the 09 brush and it looked really nice on my skin so i'm gonna be doing that today as well i'm gonna be taking a mixture of 
this color right over here and also this one right here i feel like a dual fiber brush just distributes the blush so nicely and also really soft so you don't have to worry about going in with like a hard hand and applying way too much uh don't know what happened there but i'm just gonna let that air dry and we gonna figure it out i'm gonna go back in with the palette and i'm gonna work on my lower lash line taking the color coconut i'm going to buff that into my lower lash line i'm gonna go now with mahalo and apply that only like in the outer corner of my eye now going in with my benefit roller eye bright pencil i'm gonna apply this to the waterline to make my eyes look brighter going back with some mascara i'm gonna be applying that to my lower lash line i really like this mascara by the way like mm -hmm. really really like it like look at how pretty it like brushes out my lower lashes i always say that like mine are really long so finding a mascara that makes them look as pretty as they can be being so long it's a task so i'm really impressed with how this one works out for them for the glow today i'm also going to be using some god i hope i'm saying it god or gade god or gade gade cosmetics products i'm going to be using their liquid drops and also their everglow metallic palette this highlighter palette looks amazing so underrated i hope that it's a success but yeah i'm gonna go in first with the liquid highlighter i'm gonna take the sponge find like a clean side and lightly tap that into my skin something like that so that's gonna be the base for our highlighter so today girls we gonna be beaming look at how beautiful this palette looks you guys when i saw it i was like oh my god i need it in my life i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the colors for you guys Woo, girl that looks so good this gold one I'm ready for it. Taking my Sigma F42 strumming fan, taking the shallow gold. I'm gonna put that over that liquid highlighter. She is here, okay? Not going nowhere. Obviously, taking my Sigma E30 and applying that to my inner corners as well. Also, bravo. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and see my face one more time. Okay, guys, now for the lips. Obviously, if you're gonna do red, because what, what other color you would do with this look, honestly. I'm gonna go with the shade Deep Red from LA Girl Cosmetics. And I am going to outline my lips with this color. Oh my god, guys, I'm loving for this lip liner. Look how beautiful it looks. I am gonna have to go in and like clean up with concealer, like the edges of my lip. Because it's looking a little bit, a little bit, uh, not sharp. I'm just gonna take a flat definer brush and slowly clean up the edges of it. Now for the liquid lipstick, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Seraphine lipstick oh i haven't used anastasia in forever i feel like no one really uses their products anymore like that makes me really sad oh my god you guys the lip made the whole look forget everything else this red color is exactly what i wanted i wanted to match my robe we gotta find that perfect red shade there's deep reds bright reds medium reds really like soft reds intense reds so sometimes some reds can make me look really washed out but this one gives me the right amount of depth blueish tone that makes me look a little bit more olive mm -hmm. so if you have somebody with medium skin tone somebody with more like yellow undertones i would definitely recommend this red for you if you are more on the fair range this is probably look a lot darker on you so that's why i'm saying that you have to find the perfect red depending on your complexion okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair really quickly and then i'll be right back this right here completes the look i went ahead and did some soft tussle texturized curls nothing to define keeping it really sexy for valentine i went ahead and gave myself some tussle curly like texturized waves i did film a little tooth on my instagram so if you guys are not following me there do so at Valor and beauty as always i will have other products that i use and mention listed down below along with the links and discount code don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel join the Valerinas family and hit the little bell button so you notify when i make new uploads i am way too excited for all the videos that are coming for this series and i really hope you guys are excited as well so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys loved and enjoyed it and of course if you guys do recreate my looks please tag me on instagram i would love to show you guys some love and repost you guys that is it for today i love you guys so much Mucho besitos. Mm -hmm. and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys